properties of a tree. When T is a tree, a vertex of degree 1 is called a leaf. This tree has five leaves, 3, 6, 7, 8, and 10. The other vertices are cut vertices. So look at that picture carefully and just make sure that you're with me, that you agree that 3, 6, 7, 8, and 10 are leaves. Those are the vertices of degree 1. And that any vertex which is not of degree 1 is a cut vertex. Oh, see, now, uh, let's look at this picture and not this picture. You can see what happened is that uh, I duplicated the slide and changed the picture on one of them, but not on this one. That's the tree. And the text on the next slide goes with this tree. Uh, there's an there's a extraneous edge on the next picture, which I will, I will cut out. So you can see in this picture that the leaves are 3, 7, 6, 8, and 10, and the other vertices are cut vertices. Notice that if you remove vertex 5 from this graph, the number of components, which used to be 1, goes up substantially. So this is an example in a tree when you have a vertex of large degree. When you remove that vertex, the number of components goes up substantially. And I apologize for the same erroneous uh, drawing. When T is a tree on N vertices and N is greater than or equal to 2, the, the tree has at least two leaves. It would be better if it was a tree. And same, I have to fix all of these. When you have a, a tree on n vertices, it has n minus 1 edges. Now let's pause and do that proof by induction, but I'll at least leave up on that screen uh, a, a picture. So what is the proof? Many properties of trees are proven by using the existence of these leaves. So what we want to prove is that if you have a tree on n vertices where n is at least 2, it has at least 2 leaves. So we're going to prove this by induction. So here's the base case. A tree on two vertices, there's only one, it looks like that, and both of the vertices are leaves, so it's true. All right, now, here's what we do for a larger one. What we're going to do is take any leaf. If you take a leaf of a tree and remove it, what's left? A tree. Okay. So, in what's left, there will be at least two leaves. Now, if they look like this, there'll still be leaves in what's left when I put this vertex back on. But the worst possible case that could happen is that my tree looks like this. I identify a leaf and take it off. Then I find at least two leaves in what's left, say here and here. When I put this one back on, it's a leaf, and I keep that one, but I lose this one. So the induction, though, keeps two, two leaves in the tree. So you can always find at least two. Uh, it's a cute example of a principle that's called a bootstrap, and that is the harder result to prove is that a tree has one leaf. Easier to prove that it has two. 